It's been 100 years since the birth of Manuel Lozano Garrido, Blessed Lolo, who is called to be the patron of journalists. Lolo was a tireless author and journalist who spent most of his professional life in a wheelchair with a serious illness. He was blind for the last 10 years of his life. His life wasn't easy. He was born in Linares, Spain on August 9, 1920. His father died, leaving his mother to raise seven children alone. When Lolo was 15, he lost his mother as well. Lolo found strength in the faith, in the Eucharist. From a young age, he was part of the Catholic Action Movement. He was full of energy and always took initiative. But when he was only 22 years old, he was struck by a degenerative disease. The constant pain he experienced didn't extinguish his curiosity and love for the written word. Those who knew him say he never complained. The doors of his house were always open to everyone. When he could no longer write with one hand, he used the other. If he kept dropping his pen, he would attach it to his wrist. Then he moved to the typewriter, which he could use because he still had some mobility in his fingers. During Mass, he would set it on the altar. That's how he wrote the journalist's Decalogue, which Pope Francis remembered during an encounter with the media. Nonostante la malattia che lo costrinse a vivere 28 anni sulla sedia a rotelle, non cessò di amare la sua professione. Nel suo decalogo del giornalista raccomanda di pagare con la moneta della franchezza, di lavorare il pane dell'informazione pulita con il sale dello stile e il lievito dell'eternità e di non servire né pasticceria né piatti piccanti, piuttosto il buon boccone della vita pulita e speranzosa. Davvero un bel esempio a seguire. For Lolo, journalism had to be noble, clean, and hope-giving. He worked joyfully every day of his life, until he succumbed to his illness on November 3, 1971. He left behind dozens of books, essays, and articles on all sorts of topics. He also founded the Sinai Groups, sick patients and convents who pray for journalists. The cause for his beatification began in 1994. He was beatified in a ceremony in his hometown of Linares in 2010. He was the first journalist to be made a blessed.